سبحان الله وبحمده سبحان الله العظيم سبحان الله وبحمده سبحان الله العظيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته I would like to welcome you all who have joined us from the UK and globally online on this virtual webinar on behalf of the trustees, the Cambridge Central Mosque, the volunteers and the community, we'd like to welcome you to this special webinar where we're going to be launching details about our Ramadan campaign from the Cambridge Central Mosque. Uh, before we go into more of those details, I would like to invite our dear friend and teacher and Imam, Imam Ali Tos, one of the Imams from Cambridge Central Mosque, to please bless us with the recitation of the Quran and the translation, inshallah, to start the gathering. Bismillah. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا كتب عليكم الصيام كتب عليكم الصيام كتب عليكم الصيام كما كتب على الذين من قبلكم لعلكم تتقون بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إنما يعمر مساجد الله من آمن بالله واليوم الآخر وأقام الصلاة وآت الزكاة من آمن بالله واليوم الآخر وأقام الصلاة وآت الزكاة ولم يخش إلا الله ولم يخش إلا الله فعسى أولئك أن يكونوا من المهتدين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الذين قالوا ربنا الله ثم استقاموا تتنزل عليهم الملائكة ألا تقاموا ولا تحزنوا تتنزل عليهم الملائكة ألا تخافوا ولا تحزنوا وأبشروا بالجنة التي كنتم توعدون نحن أولياء في الحياة الدنيا وفي الآخرة وَلَكُمْ فِيهَا مَا تَشْتَهِي أَنفُسُكُمْ وَلَكُمْ فِيهَا مَا تَدَّعُونَ نُزُلًا مِنْ غَفُورٍ رَحِيمٍ وَمَنْ أَحْسَنُ قَوْلًا مِمَّنْ دَعَى وعمل صالحا وعمل صالحا وقال إنني من المسلمين ولا تستوي الحسنة ولا السيئة 
ادفع بالتي هي أحسن فإذا الذي بينك وبينه عداوة فإذا الذي بينك وبينه عداوة كأنه ولي حميم وما يلقاها إلا الذين صبروا وما يلقاها إلا ذو حظ عظيم وإما ينزغنك من الشيطان نزغ فاستعذ بالله إنه هو السميع العليم صدق الله العظيم In the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the most gracious, the most merciful. O you who believe, fasting is prescribed for you as it was prescribed for those before you, so that you may be mindful of God. The only ones who should tend God's places of worship are those who believe in God and the last day who keep up the prayer, who pay the alms and who fear no one but God, such people may hope to be among the rightly guided. As for those who say, our Lord is God and take the straight path towards him, the angels come down to them and say, have no fear or grief, but rejoice in the good news of paradise, which you have been promised. We are your allies in this world and in the world to come, where you will have everything you desire and ask for as a welcoming gift from the most forgiving, most merciful one who speaks better than someone who calls people to God does what is right and says, I am one of those devoted to God. Good and evil cannot be equal. Prophet, repel evil with what is better and your enemy will become as close as an old and valued friend. But only those who are steadfast in patience only those who are blessed with great righteousness will attain to such goodness. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has spoken the truth. MashaAllah. Beautiful words by Imam Ali Tus. I would like to thank you all again for those who joined us a little bit later. This is a special webinar that we've arranged from the Cambridge Central Mosque and we would like to offer you our heart um, well wishes and love and I hope you are all safe wherever you are around the world. Before we hand it over to Chris who's the uh, CEO and uh, our dear friend from LaunchGood, this is a project that started uh, just over 12 years ago by our dear esteemed uh, Sheikh Abdul Hakim Arad and the trustees in Cambridge. There was a need for this project at that time and as the mustard has fully completed its refurbishments a few months ago, we're in this unique position that we're all in lockdown and having this virtual webinar as an opportunity to bring communities together. And there's been work that our Sheikh is gonna mention and the Imam later on will also remind us that's been happening within the Cambridge community during the pan pandemic. And we felt there was an urgent need and a critical need for us to get the global support for the mustard and the activities that are specifically happening in Ramadan and thereafter what we would like to continue after Ramadan. So I would like to invite Chris to please come on, on to the virtual platform. And please, if you can then excitingly show us the Launch Good campaign that we've worked with yourselves. I would like to thank Chris and Brother Zain from Launch Good. I know they're tremendously busy this month. So we thank you for taking your time out to support us, to help us on this campaign. So Chris, Bismillah, the virtual floor is yours. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. 
Uh, unfortunately, I'm not in Cambridge. Uh, I'm in Dearborn, Michigan, United States. But uh, one day I'll get the opportunity to go. Um, I'm very honored to help uh, the Cambridge, Cambridge uh, Central Mosque or the Eco Mosque. Um, and I can tell a lot of people here are like me. Maybe you've never visited before. Maybe you don't even live in the United Kingdom. But this mosque, subhanAllah, if we see the pictures, and I hope today we're going to get a little glimpse of it, it represents the future of the Muslim community and something that we should all be proud of and all support. Uh, this is a reflection of our own selves or the best of ourselves. And that's why I know I'm, I'm very excited to be participating. Uh, I'm also the CEO of LaunchGood and one of the co-founders. And LaunchGood is a fundraising website. Uh, we're honored to be hosting the fundraising campaign for the Eco Mosque uh, this Ramadan. And I wanted to talk just for a moment about uh, actually a very easy way, a simple way that we can all help this mosque raise its goal very, very fast. And it's, it's honestly, it's a fun way. And I'm gonna share my screen for a second. Um, and hopefully you can see this is the Launch Good campaign. So it should look like this if you're on the uh, website. Um, and uh, one thing you'll notice is that when you're logged in, you'll see your face up in the right corner here. That's gonna be important because when you get here, uh, what we want you to do um, and we can share the link with you. Um, but you come to this campaign, we want you to come down to this area that says your share could raise over $36. Uh, and then if I click that, um, this is a unique link that I get. It's gonna end with a number. In my case, it's 18. Uh, this refers to a user number. Everyone has a user number if they have an account with LaunchGood. And now if I share that with people, uh, it will actually, and uh, I can show you here if I paste it up in the top right corner, you can see it ends with 18 up here. Um, I will get notified that my friend donated on my behalf. Um, and that's really cool. We'll also be able to see internally how much everyone has been able to raise for this campaign. And what's really good challenge is like, can we challenge ourselves each to get just five people to donate? And use our unique links, that way we'll know when people donate and we'll be able to also see as volunteers how much we've been able to, to contribute to this campaign. Um, if you're not seeing this right away, um, and, and I'll give you an example of this, if I, I'm gonna type in my own link here. So I'm gonna get credit for referring myself to donate to Launch Good. Okay, so now if I donate, and you know what, everyone can donate what they can. Um, I think a really good challenge for ourselves is let's each try to donate $100 if we're able to, or more. I mean, alhamdulillah, some people were blessed. Um, if you have gift aid, you can mark that out. I can't as an American. If you wanna change the name and say, okay, instead of uh, my name, I'm doing this in the name of you know, my family, for example. Um, you can do that as well. And then I pledge my, my goal. Um, the other place that you can get your custom URL is here, again, it's repeated. So now if I share this, for example, um, I might click the Facebook app, and I don't know, can you guys see the Facebook as I share this, or does it not pop up? It's showing on my screen. Okay, great. So this is, again, using my custom link. Very, very excited to be part of this Eco Mosque. Please join me. And now anytime someone donates, I will get a notification that uh, someone just gave a donation. So that's pretty, one of the cool things about this. Um, and uh, again, if I go to, let's say over here to the insights now, I'm taking you guys behind the scenes, but I just wanted to show you there, you can see I referred one person for a hundred dollars. Um, so as volunteers, this is a great tool for us. Uh, I hope we all use it. Um, and if there are any questions, please, please ask me. But we just did this recently with uh, a, a pair that I'm sure many people watching this webinar are familiar with, uh, City Peter Sanders and City Michael Haroon Sujic. They're incredible photographer and writers. Um, they had a goal to, they wanted to raise, you know, maybe up to 80 or even $100,000 for a new book series they're doing called Exemplars. And, um, uh, but they started with a goal of just 30,000. And they didn't think they could raise 30,000. But just like we have a group of 100 or volunteers or so, they had a group of 100 volunteers. Everyone took their custom URL 
and they shared it. And the goal was to get 10 donors each. And subhanAllah, we ended up raising $30,000 in 11 hours, just 11 hours. So again, like this campaign, it's $50,000 as a goal. I believe we could raise that in one day, maybe two days, um, if we're all on top of it. Now, here's another cool thing. We have, because it's Ramadan on launch good, we have a special contest going where um, um, it's part of something called a Ramadan challenge. And every day the campaign that gets the most donors or raises the most money wins an extra $5,000. Um, and so if I'm gonna take you down to the dashboard, the leaderboard now, we can see um, uh, we're on day nine. So this resets every day. Right now the top campaign has raised $24,000. So if we can raise, for example, $30,000 today, uh, inshallah, the Eco Mosque will win an additional $5,000. And this resets in four hours. So in four hours, we do it again, and we raise another $30,000. Inshallah, we'll, we'll wait, win another $5,000. So that's $10,000. All we have to do is get people involved, get our friends and family to donate, uh, share it on Facebook, share it on WhatsApp, share individually with those donors you know have the ability to give a little bit more um, because those are the donations that will take us to that next level. And inshallah, just like uh, I mentioned the exemplars campaign, um, and, and I'm gonna take people there just to see it. Uh, inshallah, likewise, we can have the success that they had. Uh, this was, you know, alhamdulillah, uh, a wonderful campaign. It really blew everybody out of the water, over $80,000 raised with over 500 supporters. And it used the same exact strategy. Everyone just use your custom URL, your custom link. You can get it, for example, once when you donate, you're gonna have that custom link. Uh, use it, share it, and uh, uh, have fun, inshallah. It's a, it's a blessing to guide people to good. The Prophet ﷺ said, For the one who guides someone to a good action, as though he did it himself. And so maybe you donate $100, but because you're sharing it, $1,000 gets donated. Inshallah, you get the reward of $1,100 of donations. That's good for me, Wasim. Unless you have more that you no, want no, me to, Chris, to yeah, comment on. You wanna, sorry, I, I just thought you couldn't hear me. Uh, Chris, can you just briefly go through the page itself? Um, so, ah, that yes. we, so we just launched the campaign, so we can, um, you know, let all the viewers online know as well. We're recording the webinar, inshallah, which will also be posted straight after, as soon as we vegetate, inshallah. Okay, great. Yeah, let me run through it. Um, Hamda, the, the campaign is really beautifully made uh, by the Cambridge Central Mosque team. Um, and uh, you can see throughout it, they talk about what makes the Cambridge Central Mosque so special. Um, we know that it's not a huge Muslim community there in Cambridge, um, but it's not measured by quantity, but rather quality. Um, uh, one of the things that really stands out to me about this masjid is how it really focuses on sustainability. And you can see it with, the, they bring it through some of the pictures, um, they talk about the environmental stewardship, um, how really it's integrated with the community itself. Um, uh, and then as some other things you'll notice that as people donate, you'll get, have a little running uh, slide of that. Uh, there are different giving levels. The top giving level is a life membership. And maybe someone from the CCM team can talk about what that entails. Um, but you can get your, your name handwritten into the Cambridge Central Mosque life members book so future generations can discover it, inshallah um, and uh, you know there are a few more links and videos here that you can see um, they do talk about where is this money going to go and why they need this money you know because we're Ram we're shut down with ramadan people can't you know we can't host normal fundraisers like we're used to within our muslim community at the mosque during tarih during iftar we have to do this online now and it's our duty to make sure that uh, we don't fall back as a community, but we keep going forward. Um, and because it's not just for ourselves, as you can see, mashallah, the, the Cambridge Central Mosque does a lot with youth, with homeless outreach, the elderly, they're providing foods now, uh, support for converts, interfaith programs, uh, in addition to no, all the normal community activities. So uh, it's the reason why I'm supporting it, alhamdulillah. Again, I think it does so, so much, um, and I'm very excited to be part of it. Uh, and I hope that people do visit and go through and learn more about all the great things that the C CCM is doing. 
Mashallah. Chris, thank you so much for that. So just to let everybody else know, we got some messages in the chat. We're going to be um, posting the link for the launch code in this chat as well. And we've also got a WhatsApp group, which will also add the details in the webinar. So you can join us on that, inshallah. Please cascade the message to all the different friends, family, WhatsApp. Um, and, and the main thing what uh, Sidi Chris said is that we're investing in the future of this, of the mustards, which is not only changing the landscape of British Islam under the guidance of, of our trustees and Sheikh Abdul Hakim, but hopefully globally we can benefit uh, many people as well from the thought leadership and Islamic programs we will have. The current need at this particular moment in time is to continue the outreach work for the COVID response for the pandemic. And there's many things that I'm, I'm sure Sheikh Abdul Hakim is going to touch upon that when we bring him on, but there's amazing work that's been carried out. We would have played some videos, but because of certain experiences with the Zoom, we don't want it to buffer. So soon after this webinar is completed, we'll be sharing videos about the mustard and about our campaign. So you can better understand the response that the mustard has taken to help the community within Cambridge and continues to respond to that. And we need your, your support to crit critically support the urgent need for these outreach programs within the Cambridge community. Um, so, Without further ado, I would like to invite our Sheikh of the Hakim uh, onto the platform to give us a, a little bit about the background to the masjid and his vision of what we're trying to do here for this campaign. Bismillah, Sheikh of the Hakim. Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah wa alihi wa sahbihi wa man wa ala. Rabbi yassir wa a'in ya kareem wa aftah bil haqqi inna kal fatahu al-alim. Uh, this has been a, a strange Ramadan. Ramadan is a time of year that Muslims look forward to as a time of being social. Uh, the month begins with the uh, first Taraweeh and then it ends with the, the Eid prayer, which is the great social event of the year, and with uh, the hug at the end. Uh, but now in this time of social distancing, all of that uh, is uh, unthinkable and we are like hermits, Ruhban in our little, uh, our little cells. Uh, but nonetheless, one of the beauties of the religion is that we can do what is important, even if we're not with the Jama'ah. With the congregation, of course, there's Rahma, there's mercy. But we're separated out, and uh, we can still do the Ibadat, we can pray our Taraweeh. Uh, the fasting is a solitary kind of exercise. Anyway, we can read the Qur'an, and inshallah, I think many of us are using this as an opportunity to grow that Iman. And I think that's really the basis for the amazing activities that are happening now at the uh, new mosque in Cambridge, the uh, extraordinary uh, food provision system that, that the volunteers, mashallah, are already undertaking, despite all of the difficulties of this lockdown situation, which is really something completely new, uh, that we're feeding sort of, uh, 80, hot meals a day. Um, we're dishing out uh, packs for the whole of Ramadan for dry food for uh, the refugees and other needy communities in Cambridge. Uh, and also, of course, we have our wonderful online programs, not just the Azan and the Quran and uh, Imam Sayyad's talks coming from uh, the uh, uh, from the, the, the mosque live, uh, but also our Ramadan TV channel, which is proving very popular, which is bringing some amazing content from Zaid Shakir, Hamza Yusuf, and some, some rarely seen, um, but very precious Islamic content. And it's nice to see that there's people logging in from, from around the world to our little mosque in Cambridge. So we are uh, restrained at this time, uh, but we're also kind of unchained, I would say. And the Cambridge Mosque now, um, partly through the, the Ramadan TV channel, is reaching the whole world. So it's very exciting that we're partnering with, with Launch Good in this uh, unusual Ramadan to deal with these unusual challenges. And we have taken the decision uh, that the donations that we receive this month will be allocated for the kind of uh, humane and humanitarian needs of the local community and, and, and wider. It won't be for bricks and mortar or for paying uh, electricity bills or those kinds of things, although uh, that has to be done as well. But uh, this is a, a Ramadan of need, uh, sometimes emergency need, and so we're reaching out to uh, uh, our community to ask them, thanks to uh, this wonderful platform that we have now with, with Brother Chris and Launch Good, uh, to, to keep those donations coming in because uh, all of these uh, uh, services that we're provided do do of course come at a cost. 
So uh, all of these things, uh, Allah says, ala They give food out of love for him. Uh, and they say, La nuridu minkum wala shukura. We don't want any thanks for this from you, and we don't want any uh, reward, any recompense. It's just for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There's a tremendous barakah in this. And I think that the team is feeling the holiness of the month through this giving, uh, through this uh, service. And uh, Ramadan is usually experienced by the believers as a time for growing one's faith, growing one's iman. It's like taking a step up. Uh, and towards the end of the faith, we, end of the month, we feel that we're flying almost. Uh, there's wonderful last tarawihs, the uh, Laylatul Qadr, the Eid. It, it's the spiritual summit of the year, really. Uh, and uh, in the hadith, there's kind of indi indications of this. Uh, a sawmu nisfu sabr is a famous hadith, which is narrated by Imam Tirmidhi, which means that fasting is half of sabr. In other words, you know, sabr is necessary for the fast, but it is also supported by the fast um, because we learned that we are capable of, of abstaining from our usual pleasures and our, our usual weaknesses. But there's another hadith that says, a sabr nisful iman. Patience, sabr is half of iman. And so if you do a rather basic arithmetic calculation, you find that fasting is a quarter of iman, according to these, these reliable hadiths. So the month of Ramadan is an opportunity for us to learn outward learning through Ramadan TV or whatever it might be, but also inward learning, disciplining ourselves so that we're rising up, so that every year we take a step up. And inshallah, we have to make sure we don't take a step down again in Shawwal and subsequently. So uh, we are taking this step up in our Iman, but it's Allah's gift. And uh, through our Ibadah, and through our abstention, we are given this gift of yaqeen. وَأَبُدْ رَبَّكَ حَتَّى يَأْتِيَكَ الْيَقِينَ uh, Worship your Lord until yaqeen, certainty, comes to you. One of the meanings of that is death. We should worship until our last breath, but also until certainty comes, because this ibadah gives us more certainty. The more we pray and with more devotion, then we find uh, that uh, we are uh, raised up in our inward level. So the funny thing about religion is that the more of it you do, the easier it becomes, because the more iman you have and the more you do it out of love for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the easier everything is. And this is part of Allah's mercy, that the higher we rise in our iman, inshallah, the, the, the beautiful meadows are opened up for us and we really start to enjoy our deen. So uh, we have this Worship your Lord until certainty comes to you. And at the end of Surah Al-Ankabut, Allah says, Those who struggle for us, in whatever way it might be, we shall certainly guide them to our paths. So this hidayah, which guides us to the iman and to the right action, comes from this striving. If you just sit around, Iman is not going to be given to you in most cases. You really have to work for it. So this Wa'abud worship brings us to the state which is Obudiya, which I'd like to talk about a little bit. What is Obudiya? Obudiya means slavehood. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is the highest degree that a human being can reach. Uh, it's one of the, the beautiful subtleties of, of the Qur'an uh, that we had in, really it was the last ceremony that we could hold in the mosque before the lockdown, which was a brief commemoration of Al-Isra' wal Mi'raj, which uh, Imam Ali led very beautifully, which is, I think, available on, on YouTube, that uh, this always begins with that verse from Surah Al-Isra' Subhana ladhi asra bi abdihi layla Glory be to him who uh, took his servant or his slave by night. So this is a majestic event. He's going from the sanctuary to the sanctuary, uh, uniquely amongst all of humanity, uh, granted this gift. And Allah calls him Abdihi, his slave. 
And also when he rises and uh, rises up to the extraordinary uh, experience of the divine presence, the maqam of Qaba Qawsain, the degree of two bows length, uh, we find for awha ila abdihi ma awha, Allah revealed to his slave what he revealed. So after this amazing night journey, you have the even more amazing mi'raj, and the holy prophet is described as abd, slave. Uh, in other words, he's in this state of wa'bud rabbaka hatta yatiyaka al yaqeen but of what are we the ibad? Everybody is a slave of something. You, know, you can say, oh, I'm a slave to my work. I'm a slave to my housework. I'm a slave to my employer. I'm a slave to chocolate, whatever it might be. And uh, the hadith does say, ta'isa abdu dirham, ta'isa abdu dinar, ta'isa abdul khumaysa. Wretched is the slave of the gold coin. Wretched is the slave of the silver coin. Wretched is the slave of the little garment of silk. So we can be abd, abdullah, slave of Allah, which is what raises up our iman, and which we demonstrate in our imkisar, in our brokenness and neediness and our sabr during Ramadan. Or we can be the slave of our bank balance and slave of the fashion industry. And uh, everybody is the slave of something. Nobody is not an abd. So uh, the early Muslims used to say, Qimatul abdi bima abudihi. A man's value is measured by that which he worships. He is an abd of what? Is he an abd of coins? Is he an abd of model railways? Is he an abd of luxury hotels? Or is he an abd of his Lord? So if you're uh, an abd of money, that is your measure, something that is transient, that is full of fitna, that will come to an end. But if you're an abd of your Lord, oh, that's the highest thing, and that puts you in the company of the Anbiya and the Asfiya and the Great Ones. So, qimatul abdi bi ma'budihi. A slave's value is measured by that which he worships. So we're all abd, we're abd of our Lord, or we're abd of dunya and nafs. In some of the Persian poetry, they talk about the worldly person as being khurbande, uh, which means the, the, the slave of the, the donkey. We should be khudabande, slaves of khuda, the Lord, God. But instead, some people are khurbande because the donkey is that lower part of us that wants to go this way and that way and engage in what is not pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but is momentarily going to gratify the, the, the pleasure circuits of the brain and get those endorphins running, but is really not what we are created for. Because we are created to be ibad Allah, ikhwana, slaves to Allah as brethren. That is what we are created for, to be worshippers, to be ibad. So another of the early Muslims used to say, al and takuna anta abdahu fi kulli hal kama huwa rabbuka fi kulli hal ubudiyah slavehood to allah is that you should be his slave in every situation just as he is your lord in every situation he's always your lord you can't get away from that that he's your creator the omnipotent one who sees what you do and will judge everything that you do he's your lord but you have to be his slave in that sense. Recognize him as your Lord. And this is, of course, difficult for us. It's what we're created for, but it's what we find difficult. So what we're hoping for, I think, in this Ramadan is even though we can't be in the mosque, but our hearts are attached to the mosque and in the famous hadith, um, uh, uh, there are seven people who will be shaded by Allah on the day when there is no shade other than his shade uh, is rajulun qalbuhu muta'alliqun bil masjid idha kharaja minhu hatta ya'uda ilay a man whose heart is attached to the mosque from the time he leaves it until the time he goes back to it in other words, he doesn't just put on his shoes and then says, right, whips out his phone and forgets what he's just been doing. 
uh, but his heart is missing the mosque. And this is the state of the believers, that they have this ishtiyaq, this longing for the mosque. And that's a sign of iman. And inshallah, one of the, the things that we will learn this Ramadan is the extent to which we are missing the mosque. If you've been to the Haram in, in Mecca, or the Haram in Medina, or the Haram in Al-Quds, you'll know that they are unique and beloved, wonderful places, full of treasures. And when you leave them, you know that you've come down with a bump. You've landed on earth again. And the believer has this longing for the Kaaba and the longing for Medina and longing for a Sahra. And this is just part of, but one of the proofs of faith. If you have that longing, that's a good sign. <clears throat> Uh, but we also have this longing for the smaller mosques because it's in the mosque that we do our most important work. That's when we're standing before our Lord and really enacting something that for most of our life is kind of passive rather than active, which is our obudiyah, our worship, our ibadah of our creator. And so the mosque is the most important place in our life and our heart needs to be attached to it. And I think talking to people in our now fragmented lockdown community, you find that actually they really are missing the mosque. They're missing the camaraderie of iftar. They're missing the limpid beauty of reading the Quran in those long summer Ramadan afternoons in the mosque where there's no distractions and everything is lillah. They're missing uh, the incredible beauty of, of Tarawih. And we had such a wonderful Tarawih last year and it was packed. It was like Juma and Alhamdulillah, the community. You can see people's hearts are definitely attached to the mosque. They'll stand there for an hour and a half, an hour and three quarters. And Alhamdulillah, we had such a great lineup of Imams and Hafizes. So uh, yeah, we need to look into our hearts and, and see what has happened to us now that we can't go to the mosque. We can't go to the khutbah. We can't stop by just to pray our uh, asr, we can't, we can't get in, it's locked. This, this lockdown, the lockdown of the Masajid, is a far graver matter to us than any other lockdown. Staying in one's home, not being able to go to a restaurant, not being able to take a flight, do a holiday, these are trivial compared to the lockdown of the Masajid. But alhamdulillah, uh, every house can be turned into a masjid, the Jumaa is small, uh, but the Holy Prophet urged us to say some of our prayers at home so that our buyut do not become like the maqabir, do not become like the graves. So we're giving life to our homes. The mosque is empty, but our homes are full, inshallah, of worship and dhikr. So through this effort that we're making, inshallah, through the fast, which leads to the sabr, and the sabr that leads to the iman, we will grow as believers. And the fruits of the tree of faith are, of course, the giving. The yut'aymun at ta'ama ala hubbihi. They give food from love of him. This is, this is the proof of religion and the proof of the way of the anbiya, that it makes us better, that it makes us caring, that it makes us care for the neighbor. لا يؤمن أحدكم Not one of you has iman. حتى يحب لجاره ما يحب لنفسه من الخير Not one of you has iman until he loves for his neighbor all of the good that he loves for himself. And the ulama, when they look at the, the Qur'an, where it says, jari til qurba, jari junub, the near neighbor and the far, they say that one of the meanings of the far neighbor is the non-Muslim neighbor. So at this time, we need to be reaching out to non-Muslims. And this is a quite broken society in many ways, where there's a lot of people who are on their own, uh, a lot of single parents, uh, a lot of solitary people, a lot of old people living alone, and we need to be reaching out to them as well to show that we are an ummah that is uh, the best brought out for mankind. Khayru ummatin ukhrijat linnas, the best of peoples brought out for mankind, not just for the Muslims, but for mankind. And to the extent that we have this engine of iman within us, uh, inshallah, we will find that not just uh, an easy duty, but inshallah, our great delight, and we will start to taste the true the true sweetness of Iman. Because the Holy Prophet والسلام, speaks of the sweetness of Iman, halawat of Iman. It's a gift. It's a wonderful thing. It's a return to what is natural and normal uh, for human beings. It's a healthy state to be. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this month to grant us the reality of the fast, to grant us an inward as well as an outward fast, uh, to, to follow the sunnah in great matters and in small, and inshallah, 
we ask him, we hold our hands out and we ask him to pour down upon us the rain of his mercy and to grant us the Iman uh, that, that we need more than anything else. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make the Cambridge Mosque, inshallah, a heart and a hub for the khairat, for the goodnesses that come naturally from the, the believing members of this ummah, and through those goodnesses, inshallah, to spread, this, spread the benefits of this deen to the whole world. And again, to get back to the point I began with, uh, this is going to be difficult for the mosque unless somebody is there to pay for the food parcels, to pay for the pasta and for the rice, and for all of the other things that we're, we're giving out, to pay for those visits to the hospital. And it's, mashallah, an amazing, blessed, uh, experience just to visit and to look at the basement, a car park which is now full of uh, food of, of, of various kinds and the energy and the dedication, the sincerity of the, the volunteers. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept their intentions and raise them inshallah to high degrees in their iman and make this their best Ramadan and our best Ramadan inshallah. So may Allah bless everybody who's watching and inshallah their families and friends, heal their sick and allay their fears inshallah and uh, inshallah spread the word that through our partnership with Launch Good and our other fundraising platforms, the Ramadan TV and the other things that the mosque is able to do by Allah's tawfiq this Ramadan, inshallah, to reach out and to help the world and to heal the world, inshallah, in this uh, time that is inwardly as well as outwardly sick. May Allah bless you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. MashaAllah, uh, it's a beautiful reminder from our dear beloved Sheikh Abdul Hakim. Um, I'm just going to share the screen. So, um, as we were talking earlier, this um, Ramadan, we're launching the campaign for support Europe's first eco mosque. Our goal uh, this Ramadan is to start with the community outreach programs, as uh, Sheikh touched upon. Um, and here we've explained on our Launch Good page the actual background to the project and the vision from the trustees and Sheikh Abdul Hakim. And when you scroll down onto the page, we've got different categories of our giving levels. Um, here you can see from the small amounts from, there's no small amounts from $30 to $100, which for the eco warrior, inshallah, for $500, you could become a visionary. And our aim is to encourage as many people to donate um, a thousand pounds, which is uh, just short of 1250 US dollars, where you would become a life member with the masjid. Um, as Chris uh, briefly mentioned earlier, a life member uh, with the masjid, you would be able to get benefits where you would receive uh, an award at a ceremony, you would get your unique certificate and ID, uh, and you'll be able to attend the masjid and be part of some uh, key strategic meetings that happen throughout the year. Our main focus in Ramadan with the outreach program is that we're going to start to go for 50,000 US dollars. And with your support and help, we would like to encourage you to help us for the COVID-19 community support in Ramadan and thereafter, after, after Ramadan. Um, and inshallah, when the masjid reopened, we would like to continue all the further activities within the community. As you can see on our page, we've got details about the youth engagement, uh, the homeless outreach and the refugee support that we're offering and, and all the activities, social activities for the elderly as well. And inshallah, there's also a quite active community of convert care work that's happening within the community and we would like your support to be able to further help the convert community to, to prepare packs and have structured learning programs and and interfaith dialogues as well so we need your support for these activities when you go down onto launch good page we've kind of showcased some of our programs from the macmillan cancer support um, uh, cancer appeal that we had um, a few months ago and then we've also had workshops there from haji nurdin um, Ali Ibn Miller and many other programs that we can have and Cambridge is really blessed uh, with our teachers uh, like Sheikh the Hakim and many other academics because of the university city and we would like to be able to put down and plan many programs in the future with our teachers and visiting guests and scholars and we need your support for that and also pioneer many works in regards to green technology and theology inshallah when the top 10 campaigners finish the campaign. This is now running for the next 21 days till the end of Ramadan, and we need your support for this. Uh, our aim is by the end of Ramadan, the top 10 campaigners will be invited to an exclusive tour of the Cambridge Central Mosque and have lunch with our trustees and spend the afternoon with us. So we really encourage you all to pre spread the message about the actual uh, long code campaign. Um, look at the features and the vision of the Eco Mosque and why you should support us. And hopefully, please look at the Ramadan TV on the Facebook and the social media platforms from the Cambridge Central Mosque. I would like to invite our dear teacher, 
um, Imam Siad Mekic, who's one of the main Imams of the Masjid, to come forward and bless us with a, a few words, and then inshallah we'll go into a supplication just before we invite Imam Ali back. Imam Siad, are you there? Hello, Assalamu Alaikum. Wa Alaikum Assalam, Imam Siad. Thank you for joining us. Bismillah. Barakallahu Fikum. I would like to thank you all for joining us in on this very special webinar in this very special time of the year. It's the most important time of the year for us Muslims. So we heard Sheikh Abdul Hakim Murad, mashallah, talking about Abudiya. The best charity indeed is the one given in the month of Ramadan. Uh, and as Sheikh Abdul Hakim underlined, you know, the vast majority, if not all of the funds that we will be raising from this campaign will go towards the needy and the poor. There are many people, as you all know, who have lost their jobs in these difficult times and they definitely need our support. And every day, alhamdulillah, uh, our masjid volunteers, they are giving some 70, 80 uh, hot meals to people who are right now at the front line, mainly our local hospitals uh, and other people who are very much in need, who have no one, who have no income, and so on and so forth. So, mashallah, I'm very pleased to be uh, joining you in this very special webinar. Uh, so I was told to make a dua, inshallah ta'ala, so I'll make a, a short dua, and I believe Imam Ali will, uh, and myself, we will recite some salawat uh, towards the end of this webinar, and that's how we're going to end, inshallah ta'ala. So I'm asking every one of you who is watching or listening to this webinar to please join us in, in our dua. Uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is our source of reliance. He is our creator, and like Sheikh told us, our true measure only uh, is good if we are worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we are, you know, so uh, honest and earnest in our ibadah towards our creator Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's where, uh, you know, our greatness can come from if, if we want to talk about any greatness to ourselves. So please uh, join us in our dua, inshallah ta'ala. Uh, we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept all of our efforts, to give us the tawfiq, to always say that which is good, beneficial, useful, and to do that which is good, beneficial, and useful. And raising funds for charitable or noble causes indeed counts as uh, some of the most useful and beneficial acts that we can ever do. Amin, 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 ya rabbil alameen. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaitan rajim Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. الحمد لله رب العالمين الصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك وتبارك اسمك وتعالى جدك ولا إله غير سبحانك لا نحسي ثناء عليك أنت كما أثنيت على نفسك يا رب العالمين اللهم ربنا إنا نسألك بأسمائك الحسنى وبصفاتك العلى أن تغفر لنا ذنوبنا وخطايانا كلها يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم ربنا إنا نسألك من الخير كله عاجله وآجله ما علمنا منه وما لم نعلم ونعوذ بك من شر كله عاجله وآجله ما علمنا منه وما لم نعلم يا رب العالمين اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين اللهم ربنا لا تؤاخذنا إن نسينا وأخطأنا ربنا ولا تحمل علينا إسرا كما حملته على الذين من قبلنا ربنا ولا تحملنا ما لا طاقة لنا به وعف عنا واغفر لنا ورحمنا أنت مولانا أنت مولانا أنت مولانا فانصرنا على القوم الكافرين أنت مولانا وليس لنا مولا سواك يا رب العالمين يا الله يا ذا الجلال والإكرام اللهم, رب اللهم أنت ربنا لا إله إلا أنت نحن عبيدك بنو إمائك نحن عبيدك بنو إمائك أنت خلقتنا ونحن عبيدك ونحن على عهدك ووعدك ما استطعنا نعوذ بك من شر ما صنعنا نبوء لك بنعمتك علينا ونبوء بذنوبنا فاغفر لنا ذنوبنا فإنه لا يغفر الذنوب إلا أنت يا رب العالمين اللهم إنا نسألك العفو والعافية في الدنيا والآخرة 
اللهم إنا نسألك العفو والعافية في ديننا ودنيانا وأهلينا وأموالنا اللهم استر أوعراتنا وآمن روعاتنا اللهم احفظنا من بين أيدينا ومن خلفنا وعن إيماننا وعن شمائلنا ومن فوقنا ومن تحتنا يا أرحم الراهمين اللهم عالم الغيب والشهادة فاطر السماوات والأرض رب كل شيء ومليكه نشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت وحدك لا شريك لك نعوذ بك من شر أنفسنا ومن شر الشياطين ومن شر أن نقترف على أنفسنا سوءا أو نجره إلى أي مسلم يا رب العالمين اللهم إنا نسألك من الخير كله يا رب العالمين ونعوذ بك من الشر كله يا أرحم الراهمين اللهم إنا نسألك من خير ما سألك به عبدك ونبيك محمد صلى الله تعالى عليه وسلم ونعوذ بك من شر ما استعاذك به عبدك ونبيك محمد اللهم إنا نسألك الجنة وما قرب إليها من قولنا وعمل ونعوذ بك من النار وما قرب إليها من قولنا وعمل ونسألك أن تجعل كل قضاء قضيته لنا خيرا يا أرحم الراهمين اللهم اهدنا في من هديت وعافنا في من عافيت وتولنا في من توليت وبارك لنا فيما أعطيت وقنا واصرف عنا شر ما قضيت إنك تقضي ولا يقضى عليك يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم احرسنا بعينك التي لا تنا واكنفنا بكنفك الذي لا يرى واغفر لنا بقدرتك فلا نهلك وأنت رجاؤنا يا أرحم الراحمين يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم اغفر لنا ولأمة نبينا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم مغفرة عامة اللهم ارحمنا ورحم أمة نبينا سيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم رحمة عامة رب اغفر ورحم وأنت خير الراحمين رب اغفر ورحم وأنت خير الراحمين رب اغفر ورحم وأنت خير الراحمين اللهم إنا نعوذ بك من العجز والكسل والجبن والبخل والهرم وعذاب القبر وفتنة الدجال اللهم آتي أنفسنا تقواها اللهم آتي أنفسنا تقواها اللهم آتي أنفسنا تقواها وزكها أنت خير من زكاها أنت وليها ومولاها اللهم إنا نعوذ بك من علم لا ينفع ومن قلب لا يخشع ومن نفس لا تشبع ومن دعوة لا يستجاب لها اللهم إنا نعوذ بوجهك الكريم واسمك العظيم من الكفر والفقر والنفاق والفجور يا رب العالمين اللهم إنا نعوذ بك من زوال نعمتك وتحول عافيتك وفجأة نقمتك وجميع سخطك يا رب العالمين اللهم اغفر لنا ذنوبنا وخطايانا كلها اللهم نقنا من الخطايا كما ينقى الثوب الأبيض من الدنس وباعد بيننا وبين خطايانا كما باعدت بين المشرق والمغرب يا أرحم الراحمين يا الله يا حي يا قيوم برحمتك نستغيث أصلح لنا شأننا كله ولا تكلنا إلى أنفسنا طرفة عين يا رحمن أنت ولينا ومولانا أنت ولينا في الدنيا والآخرة توفنا مسلمين وألحقنا بالصالحين اللهم أعنا على الصيام والقيام يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم بارك لنا فيما بقي من شهر رمضان وأعنا فيه على الصيام والقيام وتلاوة القرآن وغد البصر وحفظ اللسان يا رحيم يا رحمن اللهم أكمل لنا ديننا الذي هو عسمة أمرنا وأصلح لنا دنيانا التي فيها معاشنا وأصلح لنا آخرتنا التي فيها معادنا واجعل الحياة زيادة لنا في كل خير واجعل الموت راحة لنا من كل شر يا رب العالمين اللهم ربنا أتمم لنا نورنا يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم أنزلنا منزلا مباركا وأنت خير المنزلين 
بجوار نبيك محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم في أعلى جنان الخلد يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم فارج الهم وكاشف الغم ومجيب دعوة المضطرين رحمان الدنيا والآخرة ورحمهما أنت ترحمنا فرحمنا برحمة تغننا بها عن رحمة من سوى ارحمنا يا أرحم الراحمين اغفر لنا يا خير الغافرين اللهم فرج عنا اللهم فرج عنا فرج عنا وعن أمة نبيك محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم اللهم إنا نسألك فرجا قريبا اللهم إنا نسألك فرجا قريبا اللهم إنا نسألك فرجا قريبا اللهم ارفع عنا الوباء والبلاء اللهم ارفع عنا الوباء والبلاء يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم انزل علينا بركاتك من السماء والأرض يا أرحم الراحمين أنت حسبنا أنت مولانا أنت ربنا ليس لنا رب سوى إنا نسألك بأسمائك الحسنى وبصفاتك العلى اللهم إنا نسألك باسمك الأعظم يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار وأدخلنا الجنة مع الأبرار يا عزيز يا غفار رب أوزعنا أن نشكر نعمتك التي أنعمت علينا وعلى والدينا وأن نعمل صالحا ترضاه وأن نعمل صالحا ترضاه وأن نعمل صالحا ترضاه وأدخلنا برحمتك في عبادك الصالحين 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 رب أوزعنا أن نشكر نعمتك التي أنعمت علينا وعلى والدينا وأن نعمل صالحا ترضاه وأصلح لنا في ذرياتنا وأصلح لنا في ذرياتنا وأصلح لنا في ذرياتنا إن تبنا إليك إن تبنا إليك إنا تبنا إليك إنا تبنا إليك وإنا من المسلمين اللهم ربنا هب لنا من أزواجنا وذرياتنا قرة أعين قرة أعين قرة أعين وجعلنا للمتقين إماما رب جعلنا مقيم الصلاة ومن ذرياتنا ربنا وتقبل دعاء ربنا وتقبل دعاء ربنا وتقبل دعاء ربنا وتقبل دعاء واغفر لنا ولوالدينا وللمؤمنين يوم يقوم الحساب ربنا أتمم لنا نورنا واغفر لنا إنك على كل شيء قدير وأنزلنا منزلا مباركا وأنت خير المنزلين في مقعد الصدق مع أهل بيت نبيك محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم حنانا من لدنك وزكاة برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين الحمد لله الذي هدانا لهذا وما كنا لنهتدي لولا أن هدانا الله الحمد لله الحمد لله وآخر دعوانا أن الحمد لله رب العالمين وسلام على المرسلين وسلام على المرسلين وسلام على المرسلين سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين آمين 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 يا رب العالمين ما شاء الله uh, beautiful du'a from our Imam Siad Makic our main Imam from the Masjid we're gonna invite Imam Siad Imam Ali Tosbak in a, in a moment or so for those who joined a bit later we would like to thank you for joining us uh, tonight we've had a very special webinar where we've been talking about how to make most of our time during the pandemic at home and how to continue our outreach and our work in the community and uh, one of the best initiatives out there um, having been in the Cambridge community for a few months I was truly honored to be part of the Cambridge community and to see the great work that our teachers and our trustees have done there over the last decade or so but alhamdulillah the work has just begun and the masjid has uh, over the last few months been finally erected and refurbished and just as the work was about to start in the community then Allah had a divine plan with the pandemic 
So now we're asking yourselves to support us to continue the outreach work in the community. Um, and I really ask you all to support us, to continue praying for us, and allow us all to be able to appreciate the mustards and the beauty of the different places of worship, and especially to support the work that the Cambridge community is doing. And I encourage you all to please go onto our launch code page, where we just made the campaign live about uh, an hour and a half ago. And the launch code link for the, for the campaign is launchgood.com forward slash eco eco hyphen mosque and you can go directly onto the campaign for the cambridge central mosque you'll see many other campaigns which are on the launch good platform but i highly encourage you to go to launchgood.com forward slash eco hyphen mosque and that's where you can go directly onto the launch good page uh, we will follow more instructions please follow our social media pages uh, look at the message in the comment boxes. We will send you more messages and videos about the project. It's going to be running for the next 21 days. But without further ado, I'm going to invite Imam Ali and Imam Siad back onto the virtual platform to bless us with salawat before we open our fast and we will hear the azan from Imam Ali. So inshallah, if you've got any more further questions, please write to us in the chat here or also message us privately and we'll send you all the information about the campaign. This one, like Imams, the virtual space is yours. اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد الذي جاء بالحق المبين وأرسلته رحمة للعالمين الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله والله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله والله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله والله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الصلاة والسلام عليك يا رسول الله الصلاة والسلام عليك يا حبيب الله الصلاة والسلام عليك يا سيد الأولين والآخرين وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين الفاتحة MashaAllah, we thank you all for joining us this evening. We've got a couple of minutes left uh, before the um, Azan will happen at 8.30 BST UK time. That's in about um, six minutes or so. So um, briefly, I wanted to, if anybody had any particular questions that were burning in the chat, I can answer them. Or if there's any other major questions that have come um, on any of the WhatsApp groups, we can answer those questions. And so like I said, the Launch Good page is now live. You can go on to launchgood.com forward slash eco dash mosque. 
and inshallah you can start donating to the campaign we are if there's uh, many of you that are in the whatsapp group we will be adding small videos in there to explain how you can donate and go onto the not good platform via mobile link and also via desktop so we'll be sending those short videos in the whatsapp group and also on our social media pages so please what we really encourage you all to do is uh, please pray for us all, pray for the masjid and the community, and that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes our, our situation a lot easier, and so we can get back to, to normality when the time is right, so that we can bring life to the community and inside the masjid and, and do many of our outreach programs and initiatives to benefit Cambridge. So we really need your support at this time. Uh, some of the questions that have come through is in regards to uh, is all of the money going to be used towards the COVID response? No, our primary target is to focus on the COVID response and outreach in the community and then any surplus money that we do raise will then be used, uh, as, as the Sheikh mentioned earlier, primarily for outreach and programs which are going to benefit the community and directly within the masjid programs. Inshallah, I will ask you all to just uh, have a moment of reflection and then we will invite Imam Ali back uh, to do the Azan for Maghrib and then we can open our fast. MashaAllah, as, as you, many of you can see the screen, if those of you have not been to Cambridge, please come and visit us here in the UK. Come to the masjid and meet our blessed Imams and inshallah be able to see the masjid in its full glory and hopefully when we are back to normality after the pandemic, we will be able to get you involved in many outreach activities. There's many people that have come online internationally and has sent messages so please come and see us in the uk when the time is right and we would love to host you here in cambridge uh, the azan will be going in the next minute or so we have a couple of minutes left before we break our fast this is the time when we believe our dua is answered dua of a fasting person at the time of breaking their fast is answered so this would be a wonderful opportunity really to read that dua together all of us i hope people are still watching and following us so <clears throat> let us all make dua asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept our fast of today and we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us the tawfiq the ability to fast uh, whatever is left of this blessed month of Ramadan Allahumma laka sunna wa bika amanna wa alayka tawakkalna wa ala rizqika aftarna ذهب الظن وابتلت العروف وثبت الأجر إن شاء الله آمين آمين يا رب العالمين. As Imam Ali gets ready in the next 30 seconds or so, inshallah, we're just doing the setup and then we'll do the azan from 8:30. So um, again, we would like to thank you all for joining us on this webinar. We'll be making this recording um, available on our social media platforms. What we really ask you all is to please pray for us and to spread the word amongst your social media platforms, your friends, your families, and please help us this Ramadan to continue our work within the local community and also spread benefit globally, inshallah. And we ask you to pray for everybody and, uh, and the local community, and as well as the glo global community that is going through this pandemic at this time, inshallah. I would like to invite Imam Ali back, uh, if he can hear us, and then he can start with the Azan, inshallah. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, MashaAllah. Thank you, Jazakumullah Khair, for this wonderful opportunity to reach our uh, wider community and also the old brothers and sisters uh, who uh, joined this wonderful uh, webinar. Insha'Allah, we are going to call the Adhan for Iftar in a few seconds from Cambridge, from the United Kingdom. And as Imam Ali is just going to read the Adhan, I will also, we will all repeat after him, Insha'Allah Ta'ala, and we will read that dua as well. For uh, listening to a Maghrib Adhan in particular. Allahumma hadha iqbalu laylika wa idbaru naharika. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Ashhadu an la Ay, 
محمد رسول الله حقا وصدقا اللهم رب هذه الدعوة التامة والصلاة القائمة آمين آت محمد الوسيلة والفضيلة وبعثه مقاما محمودا الذي وعدته وارزقنا شفاعته يوم القيامة إنك لا تخلف ميعاد صلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين آمين آمين يا رب العالمين بارك الله فيكم Jazakallah khair, Imam Siyad, Imam Ali. Uh, we thank you all. For, there's many people who are around the UK. I'm sure your fast is going to be opening soon. So we'd like to uh, let you go and inshallah prepare for that. Thank you for everybody from the Cambridge community and especially for all those around the world, uh, from the US, from uh, Indonesia, Malaysia, everybody who's joining us. Please thank you for joining us, especially at the late hours. And thank you for supporting the project. Please encourage your friends and family. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. سبحان الله والحمد لله ولا إله إلا الله الله أكبر سبحان الله والحمد لله ولا إله إلا الله